Hi guys, we're gonna do a little show and tell before we do anything. Um, <clears throat> so this month in Explorations of Me, we're gonna be talking about when something bad happens, something horrible, um, whether it's minor and mild or completely devastated, how do you, devastating, how do you handle it? Can you easily make a positive out of a negative or is it more difficult for you or do you just not even try? So for me, of course, if you've been following me for a while, you number one probably recognize this journal. I went and grabbed it off the shelves in the other room. Um, I don't necessarily handle ne negative things well and things bad that happen well. Uh, my first tendency is to overeat, to be perfectly honest and frank. And um, I try to do art instead. It's one of the reasons I started picking up creativity years ago. Um, my poor husband, when he first met me, had no idea I did anything creative. The poor guy. <laughs> Thirty some years later, and yeah, <laughs> poor guy. Um, I had set it aside for years when I met him. Uh, then I was just doing sewing, sewing and needle crafts, and I had just set it aside, put it in a closet, and hadn't gone back to it at all. Um, I didn't go back to being creative until um, I later in life, um, around the time probably that we got married um, is when I seriously got into doing some things. Then it was sewing. Um, mixed media um, and journaling, I probably started picking up around maybe 2008. Um, this is my first YouTube video was in 2012. Um, anyway, this is a video a journal from a video series here on YouTube that I've done called Negativity Smackdown. Now, before you see this video, I am going to try to make sure I put the videos from this series into a playlist if I haven't already, because honestly, at the point of filming this, I don't remember. Um, I, in 2000, 12. Um, got hurt on the job at work. I was a merchandiser and team lead for a greeting card company. And through no fault of theirs or mine, I got hurt on the job. So anyway, the short story is I'm not able to do that job anymore and now have asthma. Um, and I've had surgery on one of my shoulders. And going through that process of getting hurt coming to the realization you can't do what you, I did love my job. Let me say this first of all, I love a good greeting card. I loved my job. I loved being a merchandiser, maybe a team lead, not so much, but I loved being a merchant <laughs> merchandiser. Um, I loved being on the account, doing my job and um, doing it. In a lot of cases, the accounts would let you in before the stores opened. Um, it meant sometimes you had to be on site at 4 a.m., but it was really, Nice to get in and get your job done and get out in the peace and quiet of that time of the morning. Um, I really enjoyed the job very much. I miss it. And you will occasionally, if you're shopping with me and we pass by a greeting card department, see me unable to help myself, but walk by and push the cards down if they're poking up. I just can't help it. Anyway, um, so this journal was done during the process that I was going through at that time of getting hurt, realizing I couldn't do my job, um, the whole process of dealing with workman's comp and doctors and getting a proper diagnosis and proper medication. The whole thing, if any of you who've been through that, you know the whole thing is super stressful. Um, and I've done videos on this journal. Now this journal is a, just a composition notebook. It is nothing special. I love this one. I wish I had a cleany fairy. <laughs> um, it's nothing special. It's just a regular composition notebook uh, made out of binder paper. I do have two pages glued together. Uh, I start off each page by journaling out the negative. Whatever it is that's bothering me, I just fill up two pages and I write it out and sometimes write it out and then go back and write it out some more. Um, and then I turned the negative into a positive and tried to find 
a positive and message positive message in each negative thing or negative yeah negative thing that happened or a thing that was bothering me and I think I did a pretty good job I really loved the whole process um, it was very satisfying it really did the job and I do still when things are bothering me do what's called daily pages um, daily pages for me at least are a separate notebook that's downstairs that I write three pages in. it's not quite this big but I write three pages in um, without paying attention to spelling or grammar I, it's just like one really continually long run-on sentence and just write out what's on my mind what's on my thoughts especially when things are bothering me um, some of these pages have ended up on postcards that I use for the Etsy shop like this one and the one prior um, so anyway this and despite the fact that I've waxed the pages you can hear that they're just sticking just a little bit um, this was a really satisfying process and to be honest I don't know that I've ever done a full comprehensive flip of this journal I, it's possible I did I don't know I finished it so long ago I honestly don't remember um, and you can see each page is completely new and unique and different the pieces and parts and paint that I used on it depending honestly on what was on my table at the time um, whatever had landed on my table um, or was this within easy easy reach is that that's what I used it was a very organic process for me and as I was writing again I tried really hard to find the positive message I was trying to tell myself in the negative thing that happened or the negative thoughts I was having like this one keep moving forward just keep moving forward turn you can turn your dreams into reality but do but do you want to um, so I would definitely encourage you to have some sort of journal like this in your space if you're an art journaler that you can, you don't have to show it to the world. I said that negativity smackdown, which those of you who've been following the process know, morphed into something with in collaboration with Cindy Utter that now is Explorations of Me. She was doing something similar to this and we decided to merge the two together. That's how Explorations of Me came along. Um, so anyway, I really would encourage you to have an art journal like this um, that you can work in, that you can work out the negative, try to find the positive message or the silver lining in whatever it is that's happened. Sometimes there isn't one. And sometimes you just need to work out that negative shit and you need to just get it out of your head so it doesn't clog up your brain. And for me, that's what the daily writing pages that are downstairs is about. It, when I have things, especially in my head, that there's not gonna be any pretty outcome about or that at least I'm not clear about it, I do a three daily pages. And I do try to do them daily. Um, I've been bad about that lately, but I do try to do them lately. Oh yeah, this one I used um, something on it. No matter what I do, it's gonna always be sticky. So uh, that's, that's a thing. So there's a piece of wax paper here. This was, again, this was a really fun um, journal to work on and each page was worked at in random. And as you can see, the pages got, you know, your journal gets curly, right? Well, I just did this, <laughs> curl it back on itself. Um, I do that with a lot of my journals because at some point it gets too puffy I do think this took me over a year to finish. This one, the message underneath just really needed blotting out, obviously, because I blotted out most of the page. It is fun to go back here and look and see what's in here. I should probably add some more wax to some of these.
Again, the pages were done at random where I might do one here in the back of the journal at one point, and then I would flip to the front and do one, then I'd go to the middle and do one. They were done at random, they weren't done in order. And I just opened it to a page that felt right. And then I worked with that and whatever was going on at that time, whatever emotion was going on. I did most of the work on camera. I guess that's it. And I've kept the journal. I know some people do journals like this and then they burn them to get rid of the negative energy. I kept the journal because for me it was about working through whatever the negative thing was again and finding that positive message in it. So this would be one way I would suggest that you work um, to find the positive message in whatever the negative thing is that happened has happened. Because there usually is one, we just don't always see it right away. And I say usually, maybe not always, but usually. Uh, unless it's a horrible, catastrophic thing. And I know some people that's happened to lately and my heart's heart and prayers go out to them. Um, anyway, we are going to practice with doing a ne negativity smackdown type journal page in my large delusions journal now. I'm gonna fast forward through the process. As you're watching me do this, think about doing one of these for yourself. Um, and maybe even going back and replaying some of the old explorations of me prompts. And maybe you want to use some of the prompts to um, help you with your own negativity smackdown journal. I will, again, link the playlist for this journal and the videos I can find on YouTube. All or most of it was done on YouTube. So I will uh, link it in the description below. If there's not a playlist, I'll make one. And um, yeah, let's get to it, shall we?
Okay, this was a lot of fun getting back to my old days of journaling and doing something like this. I love this. So the image um, for the page came off of um, an anniversary card I bought for my husband. Um, we do buy cards for each other. No, we don't keep them. Um, not generally, uh, you know, like most people, they just get tossed in the trash at some point. Unless I can find a piece to reuse in a journal, then it's sort of my way of preserving it. And this came in a package of wish stickers that came this morning. Um, and it says, to the world you may be one person, but to one person you may be the world. And um, if you could read through my messy journaling in the background, I was writing about feeling sometimes like um, insignificant, basically. And that in some situations around some groups of people, it doesn't really matter if I'm there or not. They don't really give a crap. Um, but that's not really true. And when it comes to certain things, it may not be about the group of people caring that I'm there, but maybe it's just about one person caring that I'm there. I may not feel like I matter, but I do matter. Um, and um, it, it's fun to you know work out of those feelings and find that, again, positive in that horrible situation, in that negative situation. Abusing yourself and not taking care of yourself isn't gonna make a bad situation better. It's only gonna make it worse. So, um, you know, if your way of coping is having a bar of chocolate, go have a bar of chocolate. It's better than doing something more destructive, but see about working it out in an art journal or and doing a negativity smackdown page, or maybe you can um, do some daily pages of writing um, every day um, for as long as you feel like you need to, and maybe that will help. Try something, and if you have other suggestions of, or other ways for people to work through whatever negative situation they're finding themselves in, or they're finding them that whether it's mentally or physically or some financially or some other way, maybe you all have suggestions of ways other than art journaling that people can try. Put them in the comments below. We would love to hear. All of the other teachers this month, their videos are linked in the description below, so please go check them out and show them some love. Check out the Negativity Smackdown playlist if you haven't seen it before because you might really like it and get some ideas. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out my Linktree list of links for places that you can find me on social media to follow me and see what I'm up to every day. Uh, Art-wise especially, I do post every day. Um, you can also find ways to support me and the free content here on Facebook and uh, here on YouTube and over on Facebook. Um, and all of that is in the Linktree list of links. My happy mail address is down there too, should you choose to send me some happy mail, I'm always up for that. Um, the most important thing is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye guys.